Support for geographic locations has been significantly enhanced in AutoCAD 2014. It includes the same coordinate system library as AutoCAD Map 3D and new live map data. You can set a geographic location in your drawing using the Set Location tool on the Insert Ribbon tab. Choose to set the location from a map or by selecting a KML or KMD file. Live map data is automatically available from AutoCAD 2014 when you sign into your Autodesk account. If you choose not to use live map data, it will be unavailable until you close and relaunch AutoCAD. When specifying a geographic location from a map, you can search for an address or latitude and longitude. If multiple results are found, you can click on each one in the results list to view the corresponding map, and you can display the map as road or aerial data. When you find the correct location, you can drop a marker to select it. A pin is placed on the map, and corresponding latitude, longitude, and time zone are automatically applied. You can move the pin, updating the latitude and longitude automatically. An icon to the right of the elevation unlocks the latitude and longitude for manual editing. Collapse the results panel to maximize the map. You can display a standard roadmap or automatically display the best map style as you zoom. AutoCAD 2014 assigns World Mercator as the default coordinate system, or you can choose from the list of filtered coordinate systems. The coordinate system list is filtered based on the entered latitude and longitude, so it only displays the coordinate systems relevant to the specified area. To get more accurate results, it is always recommended to use a local coordinate system rather than a global coordinate system. Local coordinate systems are considered more accurate because they align more closely with the Earth's surface in that locality in comparison to an Earth-centric datum like World Mercator. Often, more than one coordinate system may cover the location you are interested in. As a general rule of thumb, the coordinate system with its datum closest to the location is considered to be the most accurate. In addition to the geographic location, the coordinate system defines the scale of the map. The current drawing unit is automatically displayed in the geographic location dialog box, or you can choose from a list of standard units. The inserted map is automatically scaled appropriately for the specified drawing unit. Live map data is only available when you are working online. If you are working offline or chose not to use live map data, no map is displayed but you can manually enter the latitude and longitude by unlocking them for editing. After you accept the latitude and longitude, the relevant coordinate systems are automatically filtered. When a map is applied to a drawing, it is always displayed below drawing geometry. Whether you apply a geographic location using a map, entering latitude and longitude, or selecting a KML or KMZ file, the marker is displayed in the drawing at a point you specify, and a new geolocation tab is added to the ribbon. The Geolocation Ribbon tab includes tools for modifying the geolocation and map display. You can specify a different location using live map data or by selecting a KML or KMZ file. Pick a new location and north direction to reorient the geographic marker, or completely remove the location data and assign coordinate system from the drawing. Easily switch between an aerial, road, or hybrid map or turn off the map display while still maintaining the geographic location and coordinate system data. If you are working on a GPS-enabled laptop, you can use the Locate Me tool to identify your current location in the map. You can mark positions in the drawing by entering latitude-longitude data, using your current location for GPS-enabled devices, or by picking points. For each position, you can enter text to describe the position. The new Geo Mark Position Size system variable controls the initial size of the marker. You can modify the size, contents, and other properties of selected position markers using the Properties palette. The new Geo Mark Position Size system variable controls the initial size of the marker. You can modify the size, contents, and other properties of selected position markers using the Properties palette. 